Jazzy Gang. It's your girl Jazzy. And it's your girl Cece. And, and we, we are here, here with our, our first official, official video. video. So here's um, the Q&A section of our video for today. What is our full name? Go first. My full name is Jasmine D. Diaz. <laughs> my name Am is... Am I my middle name? I don't. I mean, I guess not. My name is Margarita Sierra. Um, what does your name mean? My name is a flower. I'm a princess. <laughs> what can I say? Um, my name definitely means a drink, but my name has a different meaning to be uh, because I was named after my grandma, so yeah. Yeah, that goes in the next question. Are you named after anyone? I'm not. I'm, I'm named after my grandma. I'm basic. Where are you from? So I'm from Florida. Yo, <laughs> yo. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm from Brooklyn. She's from Brooklyn too, so yeah. Ain't from no other barrels. Where were you born? I was born actually in Manhattan. So was I. So I'm a bougie. I'm bad and bougie. Yo, you need to chill. <laughs> <laughs> Who did you look up to growing up? Honestly, my dad. Like, if you know me personally, my dad is like my idol. Like, she can tell you. Like, that's really like my rock. And I look up to my mom too, like don't get me wrong, like that's that's like the person I wanna be when I grow up. But growing up it was like my dad, my dad, my dad, my dad, my dad. So yeah. The person I would say like the I, that I looked up to the most was always my mom. I mean like my mom is like dope. Like my mom is my superwoman, like every like no matter what, like we always, you know. That's like my best friend. Um, and definitely my grandma, like, my grandma loved kids, and me, like, now, working with kids, so, that's just two people. What are your best characteristics? What are my best characteristics? I would say your energy. Wow. Because you could be in a bad mood, and you still, like, yeah, like, sometimes, depends, like, what happened. Yeah, definitely. I would say your energy, like, it, like, your vibes, like, that's us both. If we don't feel something, like, we're gonna say it. Or a team. Um, I think for you mostly, I think it's just like the way you care for people, like the, your heart. Aww. Ew. Don't do it. Um, what are your favorite things about yourself? I love my drive. Like, I know what I want to do when I want to do it. And so that drive that I have, I will see that drive is really like what's... My favorite thing about myself, I would say my dedication. And how I love. Definitely, I agree. What is your biggest accomplishment? I would say graduating high school. I knew you were going to say <laughs> Graduating high school was my biggest accomplishment thus far because I will be graduating college. But um, my mom has two sisters that are older than me that didn't have the chance to graduate high school. Um, they got their GEDs and stuff, but like I would say that like making my grandma proud and making my mom proud. So definitely. Um, personally, for me, my biggest accomplishment so far, because definitely I have a long way to go, and yeah. I'm gonna have like obviously a bigger and better opportunities. But for right now, um, I think would be Sorry, being guys. like the youngest manager at my job. I was manager when I was 16. So who can really sit there and say that? So I think for me, that's like my biggest accomplishment because it's like it shows. Definitely different from other people. Um, and my hard work, my de dedication. I agree. Like same here. Like we started. Like both of us, we started working at fifteen, and it's like that drive that we always had since. Like we we only moved up since. You know what I mean? Like she became a manager when she was sixteen. I became a specialist now. Like I was a group leader and doing all those things before. Like I never knew that at the age of 16 someone can trust you with a whole class of 25 kids you know what i mean like yeah. but that even their whole company yeah, like do you like, not understand i literally i also realized like i grew so much because from rest when i was 16 like first of all i saw it like this like i'm the youngest one like i literally manage staff members that are over like the age of 19 well at the time like everybody was over the age of 19 mm -hmm. so for me personally it was just like how does a 16 year old have to tell like all these older people what to do yeah, what it's like thing. and i'm looking at it like i'm running a company and i'm just like how little old me <laughs> but like now that like you know that was at one of the locations which we actually we're at right now but um 
I was on like the main branch so now like I'm a, I'm a manager at the main branch so now it's like you know I feel like it's bigger um, responsibility but it's definitely a lot more but I definitely you know do it right for me as we should but definitely um, as for me like I'm still while she's looking for the next question I'm still the youngest person person that works at my job now and it's like I'm a specialist now which means like I'm under a coordinator and over a coordinator is only like directors so like <laughs> I'm moving up quick um, but I'm definitely proud of both of us because we've always had that drive and it's always been like oh what you're doing after school well we're going to work I don't know about you <laughs> like but no always like the drive of helping our parents and wanting to see more out of what we could do um, and always just like remaining humble. What is the most important thing in your life? It's not a thing that's the most important right now. Three little sisters. I knew you were gonna say that. Like I love my three little sisters with the death of me. Like they're my like literally my best. Definitely friend. like them three. Like they're the most important people. Like um, for me, the most important thing. I don't think it's a thing either. I think it's more like people. Excuse me. Um. It's definitely my family because I feel like without my family like I wasn't gonna be anywhere I'll be the person I am today and if you like meet my family you know like they are like the most supportive people ever they're mad cool, mad down to earth so I feel like and they're mad accepting of everybody what is your favorite childhood memory my favorite childhood memory so I would tell my sisters and my godmother that I don't ever do your hair and I'll do it and I'll be like, You want gel or something on your hair? And they'll be like, No, like mm -hmm. I don't want no gel. So I'll be like, Oh, okay. So since they don't want gel on their hair, I just made my own gel and I licked my hair. Oh my god. And I licked my other hand and I would just do their hair licking my hands. And this was what, four or five years old? Definitely. Like that is like when they say that story, <laughs> hilarious. Like that is the funniest story ever. Favorite child. While she's thinking, I would say another one. Um, definitely, um, my godfather was arguing with my sister. Um, and they had got into an argument. My sister went on her bed. And I went into my godfather and my godmother's room. And I walked in and I said, don't worry, Hekka. She's a stupid bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and I was just trying to cheer my godfather up. And everybody ended up just laughing like it was just a laughing moment like don't worry she's a stupid bitch imagine a four-year-old saying that like that is hilarious oh my god so yeah um, that's definitely going to disney world oh yeah definitely i remember because we went to go visit my aunt well my, my cousin and my aunt at the time when they moved to florida then i ended up going and it was like really fun and i got to see all the princesses and go to the princess house because honestly like i was really that type of girl what was your favorite subject in high school Oh my god, my, actually, I have to. I really have to. First of all, one thing you should know me, I actually like school. Yeah, I can't relate. I'm like a little nerd, but it's cool. I accept it. Um, I really love math. And I love. She loved math, but didn't like the teachers. Yeah. <laughs> but that's a different story that's time. That's definitely a different story time because I have multiple story times for that. Um, and. I would say my history class, but my senior year history yeah, class. Yeah, senior year history class. Like, was dope. Chris was definitely the bomb.com. Um, Got you, Chris. <laughs> so, we'll pop in a picture there with him. <laughs> um, so, he definitely, um, he was just really down to earth. Like, he was really like a hardcore teacher. But I think with me, it's like, I really love when a teacher is really hardcore um and that's just that like i really love that and yeah, yeah. what's your favorite subject i don't have a they say elective <laughs> i was gonna say that. <laughs> I know. I was ninth grade english with anthony okay that was definitely the point where i learned so much about not only myself but my family you know what i mean like it was um, labeled who am I for Sankofa. You guys really may not know what that means, but it was definitely like a learning experience, not only for me, but <laughs> for the class. Yeah. That class was so dope. That most impacted your life outside of your family. Okay, okay. Because, you know, yes. I don't want nobody to feel no type of way. Yeah, RC, I don't want to feel no type of way. Um, I would say, I have to say two people, but, like, I just have to. Okay. Um, I'm definitely going to say Buddy and Tiffany. 
<laughs> um, so when you watch this video, I know you're gonna laugh, but you guys definitely impacted my life um, in a major like part, and I'm really glad that like you know you guys are still there and that we're definitely still building our relationship. Even after high school. Yeah, because honestly, like first of all, Tiffany, don't even, yo, Tiffany was there from freshman year. Like, yeah. Freshman. Year, I felt understand that she went with me to the hospital. Freshman year, Jasmine, like I was really like <laughs> out of control, and she knew that. Yes. But um. Like, we had our bond instantly from freshman year, and she's always giving me great advice, words of wisdom, things that I've actually, they you know, took into, like, my everyday experience, you know? Um, and just her being there, like, just for me to vent, to talk to my family, like, talk about everything, really. Um, even when I was gonna, like, you know, get so upset with these teachers, I just wanna, like, whatever, They right? were both there. Um, <laughs> then Bunny, she actually is Tiffany's cousin. You know, and they, they work at the same school. Yeah, Goals. so I actually knew like, but like a bunny, because you know, somebody would be like, my cousin Bunny, like, you know. But like me and Bunny didn't actually get to grow our relationship. It was actually senior year because we had to write down our mentors, mm -hmm. and I wrote down like Tiffany, Bunny, and who was the last person? I think I put Nicole. Yeah, I put Nicole. Yeah. Um, and it ended up being on the first day. I'm you know, hi Bunny, hi Tiffany. And Bunny's like, hi, mentee. And I was like, <laughs> mentee, <laughs> little old me. And then from there, it just, like, really, like, That, that day was started, so annoying for me. Yeah, like, it started, like, a whole great, like, relationship that we had. And, like, our bond is, like, really strong. Like, she was there pushing me through senior year. Times I wanted to give up, you know, personal things. And it was just, like, she was there. Tiffany was there. Bunny was there. So, like, they it really impacted my high school experience, which was mainly the main part of my life. Because when I was younger, like, I'm just living my best life. Oh, now it's like, you, you get into, like, the points in life where it's, yeah. like, it's getting hard. And you might get those, like, balls thrown at you where it's just, like, you may need that push, that help. And I definitely needed those pushes at times and those cries. And I really do appreciate it. So those are who were impacted my life outside of my family. As for me, like, the per I can't. The person who's definitely impacted my life. Uh, that's hard like uh, definitely Bunny and Tiffany like those my niggas but like, like I'm gonna just say somebody in EPA okay but this person was really low key which was Chris oh Chris yeah yeah like other than Bunny and Tiffany like why do you say I'm really Chris, mad right yo now. <laughs> bro like Chris came up to me personally me and him yo me and him freshman year he came and pressed me inside of a class sophomore year he done the same like every year he just validated like he was just like you're not gonna be disrespectful to these teachers but like he was just go crazy evaluated. but definitely like my senior year history class like he worked with me definitely and he was just like you need to get on your shit and as for portfolio like yo he came up to me he was like if you don't sit down and finish these last four gave you it's gonna be a problem he was like and if you don't give me that paper by tomorrow morning at eight o'clock you will not be graduating and when he told me that, <laughs> Lord, she went to prom. She went to see the trip. She went to graduation. She got. To, we actually got to walk down that aisle together. together. Your goals. Your friend goals. Were you too much? <laughs> um, but yeah, we actually got like we actually got to do all the activities. And at some point, like she was so deep in a senioritis that she didn't even get to like do a lot of stuff. Like she thought she was gonna do it, but I was like, you got no choice. So you know, she got herself together, and we went on senior trip. We went on. We went to prom together. She's actually my prom. We asked each other to prom. Yeah. Guys, she got me an Olaf blanket. I see, but it. Yeah, she wrote me a, um, she got me chocolate cake, first of all. That's like bomb. <laughs> and she got me flowers. Like, I'm a flower. Like, come on now. Flower um, child, beautiful child. I'm in your zone. What? Hey. But we're not trying to get copyrighted, so not really. <laughs> um, quickly, last question. First person you call when something happens. Like, it could be anything. Good, bad, like anything. The first person I call, like friend wise or family wise? Friend wise. Friend wise? Oh man. All right, so let me tell you something a little quickly before this. <laughs> I have like friends, like a lot of like really, really close friends, like best friends, whatever, and like sisters, whatever. But it, I feel like it's just like different relationships and different bonds with each one of them. Yeah. So I feel like depending on what news it is. Yeah, that's it true. It depends because if it's like, Yo, like, mm -mm. you know, I gotta be like, yo, Cece, or like, yo, Diana, or yo, yeah. Nicole, or yo, Lydia, you know? So I feel like it just depends. But um, I definitely have a variety or whatever. But 
I have flavors yeah. to my friends. So I think it just depends, honestly, because I can't sit here and say, like, whatever. Because I feel like if it's, like, a job issue or, like, I need, like, I don't know. Yeah, it just depends. Yeah, it really does depend. I mean, I don't think it depends for you because you don't have friends. Yeah, same. Like, <laughs> like, but not like if it's something like work related, like on some crazy shit. Like, I would call my brother. Like, I would call Nivon. You feel me? Or like, if it's something like, hey, like, hey, like, it's definitely jazzy. But like, I, other than that, we really have yeah, no <laughs> But like, or oh, I text the group chat with me, Jazzy and Nicole. Like, yo, my nigga, like that. Or like, whatever it is. Like, I always reach out to everyone. But at the end of the day, it's not like I'm keeping secrets from any of my friends. Because at the end of the day, all of them are going to know about it. <laughs> hey! Hey! <laughs> um, it's not like like all of them are not going to know. Like, they're all going to know within the time yeah. frame. It's just depending on, like, you know, who's that first call. But everybody's going to know at some point. Like, And, I mean, definitely, you know, I'm going to post a second vlog because we definitely... So we have a lot of content for you guys. <laughs> um, So, like, we're definitely gonna just going to break them down. And I have a video for you guys each, each day this weekend. Um, I really feel like just because we work and our schedule kind of clashes um but definitely try to do at least like two two or two maybe pushing it three yeah. videos a week yeah but um well and definitely even, two yeah even then um like we we will still be posting like um a day in the life of cc a day in the life of jazzy um which i guess i'm that because i'm really social i get really anxiety like i'm gonna be like <gasps> guys oh, yeah. so yeah um you'll definitely see us like at our job sites and stuff like that um, people we hang out around. Um, I don't go to school. Like I'm currently not in school right now, but um, you know I still do things. So yeah, <laughs> you guys so, see that. You guys see my sisters, that. things like that. Yeah. My um, mom, she's crazy. Whatever. <laughs> mom be like, oh my god, that's my mom. Oh my yeah. god. Um. So what I definitely will say is, you know, down below, subscribe, subscribe, and turn on that post notification. As soon as you're done, make sure you comment so you can get us um. A shout out. A post notification shout out for this first video is P. P. <laughs> um, that's my cousin. Definitely. So. Um, she was um the first person to comment down below. So showing us love and support. So that goes out to you. Um, <laughs> so yeah, that is that. Um, but basically, yeah, keep subscribing, keep putting on post notifications, follow all of our social, social media. media. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe down below. But I think that's really it. And, and we'll be back. So we have more videos. So stay tuned. Um, we have a lot on the way. So make sure you guys keep hitting that bell button. Make sure y'all keep subscribing. I want to comment like different video ideas if you have any. Or like I said earlier, you can definitely DM us and yeah. let us know what you guys want to see. Um, but yeah, we'll be back with more videos, guys. And Bye.